Today I'll show you the easiest free way of using Elementor to create a timeline for your website like this. And when viewers scroll through it, the elements will change their colors and if they click on it, they will be redirected to a new page. We will do all of this using a free plugin and let me show you how we can set it up. On the WordPress plugin repository, look for Elementor add-ons element. Here it is. Let's install and activate it. Next, we need to activate the timeline element to add it to our page. So on the left side, Click on Elementor add-ons elements. Here it shows various elements, but let's search for timeline. Here it is. Check the box. Then activate and apply the changes. Now we will create a page for a timeline. So go to pages, add new page and click on edit with Elementor. Next, go to settings and I'll change the page layout to element of full width. This step is important because we need an entire page for our design. Next, click on the plus icon, choose the layout as flexbox and select the first container. Now, on the left side, search for timeline and drag and drop this widget like this. Let's reload the page. And you can see we have a nice timeline outline. I'll make a timeline that shows the different steps involved in juice packaging. So I'll change the skins to skin2, which allows us to add images and looks more suitable for an interactive timeline. Click on the timeline. And here we have these three items listed. So let's start customizing them. First, I'll change the date. And here, add a custom link to redirect viewers to a different page. Add a title and then update the paragraph text like this. Next, we will add an image. So go to media and look for my image. Okay, this one looks good. So I'll go with this and then set the image resolution to this. Let's reload the page. Looks decent. Before we move on, we need to make sure that our site is fast because adding customizations like these can slow down even a new website and drive away visitors. So I'll go to elif.net, sign up from here, enter my website URL and click continue. Elif will now optimize your site and it does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score like caching, image optimization, lazy loading and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just a lift is enough. The visual regression will also help you detect if any changes happened on your site. And in the rare occurrence, if you don't get a 90 plus speed score, you can just ping the free support here and they'll take care of it. Now, let's move on to the next step. Now, let's customize these cards. So go to the timeline, then style. And here, I'll enable the custom card style. You can apply any of these changes, but for now, I'll only set the alignment to the left. For the image, Enable the custom image style and set the alignment to center. Next, let's change the image size. To give rounded corners to these images, I'll increase the radius from here. Now, for the card, I'll change the text color, background color, and other settings one by one for all these sections. Let's go back to content and I'll select a different icon. From the icon library, search for the icon. Okay, this one looks good. So I'll choose this. Again, go to style and enable the custom icon style. Then I'll change the colors and set the border style to none. Next, set the icon size and select some colors for hover and focus as well. The first item is done, so let's update the page and preview the changes. This looks nice, but I'll make some changes to colors and other small details. I'll edit the other two items in the same way. And once it's done, it will look something like this. Each item in this timeline looks consistent yet unique. Awesome, let's give a final touch to all the elements of the timeline. First, let's change the focus background color of the card to this. Go to the content section, 
and change the title to this. I'll apply the same changes to other two items as well. Now go to the style section, select the card and set the padding to 10. I'll also set the radius to somewhere around this. Next, to change the font style, go to the title typography, select this font and apply the same font to the content. Oh, I think I made a mistake. I needed to set the border radius and not the image radius. Let's set the border radius to 10 and remove the image radius like this. The cards are now customized. Now let's move on to the date section. Here, change the typography in the same way and increase the size to somewhere around this. Next, go to the connector section and we will edit the connecting lines. Let's set the color to this and change the progress color to this. And we are done. So update the page from here and click this button to preview it. Okay, the timeline looks great. Connecting lines are working fine. The hover is also good. And if I click on the card, it redirects me to a new page. Comment below if you have any doubts and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.